here, John from FlyMikeAlpha.com. Today we're here to talk about crosswind taxi and what to do with your flight controls when you're taxiing in a crosswind. This applies to a high wing, low wing, tailwheel airplane, whatever it might be, it's going to be the same thing. So the name of the game is to keep the weight off the nose wheel or simulated weight off the nose wheel and keep your upwind wing down from getting picked up or tipped over by the wind. So we can look out ahead here, we see that we've got the wind coming from our right, from a, basically a right headwind there, and we're gonna line up our DG here with everything. So we got the wind coming, we'll just go ahead and call it 240 to make it simple for ourselves. So we're gonna want to always be either diving away from the wind or climbing into it. So in this case, we're climbing into the wind. So we've got our right aileron up, and we're taking weight off the nose wheel, we're climbing into the wind. So as we taxi straight here, Climbing into the wind, as we start to turn away and it becomes a tailwind, we're going to dive away. So now the wind is across me, so it's neutral controls, and I'm diving away, pushing in with the controls. Again, the wind's keeping the tail down to the ground and keeping that wing down by putting that aileron down. So dive away, climb into. For example, here we've got 240, so if I go ahead and turn to my left again, I'm gonna go ahead and turn to my left again. I've got the wind on my tail, so now aileron's neutral and diving away. If I turn even more, I wanna dive away because now I've got the wind coming from my left side and coming from my tail. If I turn again here, now the wind's neutral and we're gonna climb into it as it comes around to our, off our left. And as I turn directly into the wind, aileron's neutral, just taking the weight off the nose wheel. And as we have that wind coming from our right, we're climbing into it as it's directly across our wing, where it controls neutral. As it becomes a tailwind, we're diving away. So tailwind from the right, we're diving away from the wind. And that's all there is to it. Climb into, dive away. How the, you can do this to start with, especially if you have a heading bug, mark with your heading bug on the DG where the wind is coming from. Then, to make sure your DG is calibrated, and use that to always remember what quarter of the DG the wind is coming from, and if you should be diving away or climbing into when the wind is coming as a headwind or diving away for a tailwind. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much for sharing us on Facebook, Twitter, and all the other social media sites. If you have any questions about the video at all, just leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on our video, and you can subscribe to us to keep up with all our latest episodes right over here on the right. Also, check out some of these other helpful videos below, and remember, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We'll see you all next time.